Good day everyone. Our topic for today is finding the zeros, the asymptotes, and the intercepts of logarithmic functions. Let's do it. Number one, y equals log of 2x to the base 2 plus 1. In finding the zero, all you have to do is to set y to zero. So that will be zero equals log of 2x to the base 2 plus 1. And then you solve for x. How? You transpose this one to the other side. This is log of 2x to the base 2. Negative 1 log of 2x to the base 2. And then you change this into exponential. 2 raised to negative 1 is equal to 2x. This one is 1 half is equal to 2x. So this is 4x or 1 is equal to 4x divided by 4 divided by 4. Our 0 here will be 1 fourth. Okay, let us go to the x-intercept. Here in the x-intercept, remember that this is a point that lies on the x-axis. So we have 0. You set again y to 0 if you will analyze it. If I will be setting this to 0 and solve for x, still I will be getting 1 fourth. So that will be our x-intercept. Okay. So for the y-intercept, you have to set this to 0. That is y equals log of 2 times 0 to the base 2 plus 1. This is y equals log of 0 to the base 2 plus 1. 1. This one is 0. Of course, this one is indeterminate or this one is undefined. Therefore, we do not have a y-intercept. Okay? Because undefined plus 1 cannot be determined. It is indeterminate. Okay. Now, what about our asymptote? Here in logarithmic function, there is no horizontal asymptote. What we have is only the vertical asymptote. If you will analyze this, this is 2x greater than 0. Remember that this one cannot be equal to 0 nor a negative. So if we will solve it, this is x is greater than 0 over 2. x is greater than 0. Meaning this one is asymptotic to x is equal to 0. Your graph will not move to this point. Therefore, your vertical asymptote is x is equal to 0. Okay. Next, number 2. Number 2. We have log of y equals log of x to the base 1 half minus 1 4. A uh, minus 4. So we have 0 equals log of x 1 half minus 4. So this is 0 plus 4 equals log of x to the base 1 half. So 4 is equal to log of x to the base 1 half. Changing it to exponential, this is 1 half raised to 4 is equal to x. And 1 half raised to 4 is 1 over 16. This one is your 0 or zero. This is 1 over 16. Your x-intercept, therefore, is 1 over 16, comma, 0. What about your y-intercept? Your y-intercept can be solved by replacing this to 0. So that is y equals log of 0 to the base 1 half minus 4. Again, this one is indeterminate, minus 4. So therefore... That is not, of course, what? That is not a y-intercept. Again, this is not indeterminate. There is not, this is not determinate. This is indeterminate. Okay. So now, let us go to the asymptote. So this is x is greater than 0. Again, your vertical asymptote is x is equal to 0. Now, let us go to number 3. Number 3. 
we have y equals log of x minus 3 to the base 3. So, this is 0 equals log of x minus 3 to the base 3. And then, change it to exponential. 3 raised to 0 equals x minus 3. So, this is 1 plus 3 equals x. 3 raised to 0 equals x minus 3. Solving for x, 1 plus 3, this is 4. So, this one is the 0, 4. For the x-intercept, we have 4, 0. Okay. Now, let us try to get the y-intercept if there is. This is y equals log of x minus 3 to the base 3. I will be replacing x by 0. So, this is y equals log of negative 3 to the base 3. Of course, this one is indeterminate again. So, therefore, we do not have y-intercept. Now, for our... For our vertical asymptote, this is x is greater than 3. So, x is x minus 3 greater than 0 or x is greater than 3. So, therefore, our vertical asymptote is x is equal to 3. Your graph will not cross x is equal to 3. It is always asymptotic. Now, let us go to number 4. Let's go to number 4. That will be y equals. y equals log of 2x plus 4 to the base 1 third. Again, this is 0. Log of 2x plus 4 to the base 1 third. Changing it to exponential equals 2x plus 4. So, this one is 1 equals 2x plus 4. This is 1 minus 4 equals 2x. Negative 3, 2x divided by 2 divided by 2. x is equal to negative 3 half. So, that is your 0. Again, your x-intercept is negative 3 over 2, 0. What about the... y-intercept. So, this is log of 2 times 0 plus 4 1 third. So, this is y equals log of 4 to the base 1 third. How are we going to solve this? You just get the quotient of log of 4 Divided by log of one third. Log of one third. Let's calculate it. This is log of four divided by log of one third. Okay, so y here is equal to negative one point two six. So, your y-intercept is 0, negative 1.26. This one is a decimal. It's non-terminating and non-repeating. Okay. So, let us now solve for the Vertical asymptote. This is 2x plus 4 greater than 0. 2x greater than negative 4 divided by 2 divided by 2. x negative 2. So your vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 2. Okay, number 5. Let us go to number 5. The last. That is y equals log of x squared minus 2 to the base 2 
So this is 0 log of x squared minus 2 to base 2. Changing it to exponential again, x squared minus 2. So this is 1 plus 2 x squared, getting the square root. It's positive and negative square root of 3. 3 doesn't have square root. So therefore, your zeros are, there are 2. So you have positive and negative square root of 3. For your intercepts, there are 2 also. You have, count parentheses, square root of 3, comma, 0, and negative square root of 3, comma, 0. Okay. For our y-intercept, let's solve it if there is. So, we replace x by 0. That will be x squared minus 2 to the base 2. This is 0 squared. 0 squared is 0. So, y equals log of negative 2 to the base 2. Again, this one is indeterminate. We do not have y-intercept. And for the last one, for the asymptote, this is x squared minus 2 is greater than 0. x squared is greater than 2. x, you get the square root. x will be positive negative square root of 2. So therefore, you have here, this one is the vertical asymptote x equals square root of 2 and x equals negative square root of 2 there are two vertical asymptotes